Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reading for Vocabulary. I'm Brian Stewart. We're going over heroes in these next few lessons. So, do you have a hero? Is there somebody that you look up to? That's what we're going to talk about in the next few lessons. In lesson 13, we're going to be talking about Edison. Do you know Thomas Edison? Edison the Wizard. Edison the Wizard. So we'll talk about him because he is a good hero. In this unit, we will focus on Thomas Edison was a great inventor. That's what we'll talk about in this unit. So let's take a look. First of all, we can see this is a good picture of Thomas Edison, right? Who invented the light bulb? Of course, it was Thomas Edison. And many inventions were made by Thomas Edison. And this is a good picture, right? Very interesting. Of course, it's a small light bulb. It's not big. It's the way they took the picture. But we can see Thomas Edison on the other side of the light bulb. And he is credited with inventing the light bulb. He made many wonderful inventions. You saw on the slide before, it said Edison the Wizard. Sometimes when you think about wizard, you think, oh, the Wizard of Oz. But actually, do you know Thomas Edison was called the Wizard of, not, not the Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Menlo Park. Because Menlo Park, that was the name of the place where his laboratory was. And he made many inventions at this laboratory. And people were amazed. It was like magic. So they called him a wizard, the Wizard of Menlo Park. Not the Wizard of Oz, the Wizard of Menlo Park. It's in New Jersey, next to New York. Okay, let's start with the lesson, of course, with the vocabulary. And the first word on our word list is this one, number one. The definition is here, a stick that burns to give us light. A stick that burns to give us light. Maybe you think if you're watching old movies, like uh, you know, some science, uh, not science fiction, but fantasy movie where they have swords, they have lots of sticks that burn. You could call it a torch, but we don't, we're not looking for that word. That's a different kind of stick. We're looking for this type of stick, actually a very small stick here. It's made of wax. It uses wax. What is it? Of course, it's a candle. A candle uses wax. It's a stick of wax that burns to give us light. And they're very common. Before the light bulb, they were really, really common, right? Okay, second word. Someone who makes new things. So here we see maybe this is a picture of Thomas Edison when he was young, right? Two different pictures, right? Look like different people. I think this is a picture of Thomas Edison when he's young. This is a picture of somebody using a record player a long, long time ago. Maybe you don't even know what a record player is, but before uh, MP3 file, before CD, right? Before uh, your discs, your tapes, you, we had records. And this is the person who invented the record player. Someone who makes new things. Anybody who makes new things is called an inventor. 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 So, inventor. Inventor. A person who makes new things. Okay? Will you be an inventor when you grow up? Maybe, if you have some good ideas, right? Okay, next word, number three. To make something better. To make something better. To do what? Is to improve. 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 To improve. That means you make it better. To make something better. Do cho io, right? You always want to get better. You want to make something better. You want to improve. Number four, to be on fire, right? To be on fire means to 
burn. So if somebody wants to make a campfire, right, it's cold outside, you're in the mountains, you make a campfire. You want to burn some wood. Burn some wood. To be on fire means to burn, okay? Hopefully, the only thing that burns is the wood in your campfire, not a house or something else, right? We don't want that, okay? But if it's on fire, we say it is burning, to burn, okay? Number five. Oh, we saw this uh, word before, right? Uh, I was joking about the Wizard of Oz, and I talked about Thomas Edison as the Wizard of Menlo Park. Someone who can do magic is a wizard wizard. You probably know Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter is a wizard, right? Uh, so someone who can do magic is called a wizard. Now, Thomas Edison didn't do magic, but his inventions were amazing. People thought, they thought, wow, there's light from a light bulb. It's the first time people saw that. So they thought, they thought it was magic. So they called him a wizard. 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 Okay. Next one. Something that gives light. So what is this thing over here? It gives light. You turn it on, click. It is, of course, a lamp. And you have a small lamp. This is a table lamp. A table lamp. Because it's on a small table. We say it's a table lamp. If the lamp is on the floor, don't say it's a stand or stand lamp, we just call that a floor lamp. So that's very easy, floor lamp, okay? So table lamp and then a, a big lamp that you put on the floor, floor lamp. It depends, where is it? It's on the table, it's a table lamp. It's on the floor, it's a floor lamp. Very simple, okay? But that's a lamp, okay. Seven, an element found in all living things. That's a difficult one to figure out just from the definition because there are many elements in living things, right? But look at the picture here. This is a type of rock. It's very black, right? And uh, actually, it can burn if you, you, if you set it on fire. It's carbon. Carbon. Carbon can be found in all living things. Carbon. 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 So an element found in all living things. Next, eight, easy to do. Something that's easy to do. Three plus three, six. Four plus four, eight. All nomo shuayo. That's very easy, right? So we say it's simple. Simple. It's simple, it's easy. Pandero himdoro, right? It's the opposite of difficult. Opposite of difficult, difficult pandero, Simple. It is simple. Okay, next one. Number nine. To need money to buy. You need money to buy something. It's the cost, right? You say, how much does something cost? How much, how much does it cost? So how much money do I need to buy this thing? Over here, this bucket of looks like plums is three dollars. Sam Chan Wan, right? Three dollars about Sam Chan Wan. How much does it cost? Ulmao, right? How much does it cost? Cost. And be careful because cost is an irregular verb. So we say cost, cost, cost. Not costed. Just cost. How much does it cost? It cost ten dollars. How much did your jacket cost? Oh, I bought it yesterday. It cost $10, right? So cost, cost, cost. Okay. Number 10. To make something start working. In our lives these days, there are many machines, right? How do we make them start working? We turn it on, especially when it has electricity. Chunggi, right? We use electricity to turn something on. Turn it on. Turn on the light. Turn on your computer. Turn on your cell phone. Turn on is very useful to us because our lives are surrounded by machines. We turn them on. Turn it on or turn on your phone. Okay. Number 11. 
cute rabbit, right? <laughs> Very cute rabbit. Special powers that make strange things happen. If you know somebody who has a hat and they take their hat off and they pull a rabbit out of their hat, you say, wow, that's magic. That's magic. It's a special power that makes strange things happen. Harry Potter, right, with his wand, he can make strange things happen because he has special powers. And it's called magic. Of course, magic isn't real, right? Okay, we just think about it. Magic. It's just imagination. Number 12. The glass part of a lamp. So the glass part of the lamp, right, just the glass, we call that a light bulb. So if you talk about just the glass here, that's the bulb, right? But actually the whole thing is a light bulb. Light bulb. And you screw in. You see this bottom part here? If the light, it's break, kojang naseo, right? You take a new light and you screw it in. Screw it, whoops, screw it in. Screw it in. But be careful. Make sure the light is off before you screw it in. You'll be surprised. And it's hot. Right? So be careful. Okay? Screw it in. Light bulb. Okay. Next one, number 13. To make an effort. To make an effort to do something. This is very simple, right? You're going to try. Every day, you try to do things. Most of the time, you're successful, especially easy, simple things. You try to do them, you're successful. Sometimes you try to do something and you can't do it. It's too hard, but keep trying. One day, you will succeed. So keep trying. Try something, make an effort. Keep making an effort. Work hard, study hard, play hard, right? Keep making an effort, keep trying, you will succeed. Next one, whoa, lots of money here, right? This guy's rich. What you use to buy something, I just said, of course, it's money. And this is a lot of money, right? Tone manile, right? This is shipman one, shipman one, shipman one, shipman one, shipman one, shipman one, shipman one. Wow, that's a lot of money. That's like more than more than begman one here, right? Because each one is a one hundred dollars. One hundred dollars is about shipman one. That's a lot of money. A lot of. We usually use a lot of with money. He has a lot of money. Or I have a lot of money, but I don't have a lot of money. I, I don't have much money. <laughs> okay? Don't have much money. Or a lot of money. So we use those to describe money. Next one. Well, he's going fast, right? To happen fast. To happen fast is quickly. If something happens fast, and it's very, done very quickly, right? It's done very quickly. Quickly. To run quickly. To deliver something quickly. Quickly. Next one. Now, at a slow speed, right? We just saw quickly. Does a snail move quickly? No. A snail moves at a slow speed, so a snail moves slowly slowly. You don't have to say slowly, just slowly, right? But it means very slow, at a slow speed, like a snail. A snail is very slow. Oh, no more kidaro, right? I have to wait a long time. Slowly. Okay. Okay, let's get into the exercises with those words. Complete each sentence with a word from the box. So we have our sentences here, but there's one word missing. We have to fill in that word with the words from the box. Let's review the words. First one, candles, candles. Next one, improved, improved. Notice the D at the end. That makes it an adjective, right? It is improved. It has improved. You could also use it as, an, as a verb, past tense. But we say it is improved or it has improved, okay? Sometimes it's used as an adjective, sometimes as a verb. Improved. Simple. Simple. Next one, wizard. Wizard. Next one, burned. 
burned. Notice the past tense, right? Inventor, inventor. Next one, carbon, carbon. And the last one, lamp, lamp. Okay, put your tongue behind your top teeth. La, 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 lamp. Okay, okay, number one. It is dark. It's dark. No light. We need to turn on the what? If it's dark in your room, what do you turn on to get light? Of course, you turn on a lamp. We need to turn on the lamp. Okay, next one, number two. And beep makes new things. And, and look at an. That's a clue, isn't it? We need a vowel here, right? So let's take a look here. A what? What makes new things? We're probably looking for a person and it has to start with a vowel. So we're looking probably right there, right? An inventor makes new things because I is a vowel. An inventor. Not a inventor. An inventor makes new things. And that is, of course, an inventor is a person who makes new things. That's what we learned. Number three, a Beep can do magic. Now we're looking for uh, uh, probably another person, but somebody who can do magic. Who is that, right? Out of these words, who can do magic? Bink, probably a wizard. A wizard can do magic, okay? So when we use magic, we usually use do. He can do magic. A wizard can do magic. Harry Potter can do magic. A wizard can do magic. Okay. The next six, or the next three, long ago, long ago, right? Oren manayo, right? Long time ago, or yennare, I'm sorry, yennare. Long ago, people used beep to see in the dark. What did they use to see in the dark? Before the light bulb, long ago. Before electricity, before chungi, right? What, what did people use to see in the dark? They used candles. People used candles to see in the dark. Number five, Thomas Edison, beep, the light bulb. What did Thomas Edison do, right? And remember, it's past tense. So remember those past tense words we talked about? Thomas Edison improved the light bulb. He improved it. So maybe it was already made or invented and he made it better. Or maybe he invented it and he made it better. We'll find out in the reading. But, of course, the light bulb nowadays is not the light bulb that was first invented, right? People improve inventions. They make them better. Just think about computers. When computers first came, they were huge and they were very slow. Nowadays, your cell phone is faster than a computer 60 years ago, right? Okay, so things are improving. Right? Thomas Edison improved the light bulb. Number six, before Edison, light bulbs beep too quickly. What did they do? They burned too quickly. Before Edison, light bulbs burned too quickly. So the light bulb burned, it's gone, right? Too quickly. Thomas Edison improved the light bulb. Sounds like he made it last longer. Now we'll see that in the reading. Okay, next two, seven and eight. Edison made his light bulb with what? What did he make his light bulb with? What element did Thomas Edison make his light bulb with? It's hard to know because we haven't done the reading yet. But if you think about what word would fit, it would be carbon because carbon is an element that is used to make things. So Thomas Edison made his light bulb with carbon. It lasted longer. Eight, if it is beep, then it is easy to do. We talked about that before. You can get this one. We don't need to look at the reading. If something is easy to do, it is what? It is simple. If it is simple, then it is easy to do. Okay, that wraps up the vocabulary exercises. As you can see, there are a couple of sentences that sound like they're from the reading, right? So we're going to look at the reading next after this short break. Okay, welcome back. Let's go over the reading together. And of course, in the reading, we're going to be talking about Thomas Edison. Let's take a look. 
Today we turn on the light if it's dark, but long ago it wasn't that simple. So here we have two sentences. The first sentence describes a long time ago. I mean, sorry.、Uh, the first sentence talks about now, yojum,、uh, yojum, right? Today, and the second sentence talks about yennare, right? So they are kind of opposites, right? Today, what do we do today? Today we turn on the light if it's dark. If it's dark, we turn on the light. That's what we do today. Yojume, right? Yojum, yeah, yojum. And but long ago, however, yennare, a long time ago, it wasn't simple. It wasn't simple. Long ago, people used candles to see at night. What would they say if they saw a lamp? So basically, this is an interesting、uh, situation. Think about it. Today, it's so easy. We just turn on a light to get. We turn on the lamp to get light. But long ago, people didn't have the lamp. They didn't know about electricity. They used candles to see at night. Imagine if you have to study your homework and you have many candles, not just one candle. Hanuman. Oh, it's still himdoro. You can't see. You have to light like five or six candles around your desk. Then you can see at night. Oh, no more himdoro, right? And the candles burn down. You have to buy more. And it's bright. It's kind of hot. It's messy. Oh, it's not easy. So today our life is very easy. A lot easier. People used candles to see at night, so think about that. Somebody who's using candles, all of a sudden they see a lamp. They're like, "Whoa, a lamp! What is that? What would they say?" They would say, "Whoa, magic! It's magic! You can turn it on." If they don't know, or it's the first time they saw a lamp, they would be amazed. Okay. They might call it a magic light, right? Because they don't know about electricity. They would be amazed. It's incredible. They would call it a magic light. Well, that's what they called Thomas Edison's light bulb. So that's what. In other words, the reading has kind of、uh, made you imagine a situation. And said, "Well, if people saw something, they would call it magic." Well, that's true. That's what happened. That's the reality. That's what they called Thomas Edison's light bulb. They, of course, are the people who used candles, and suddenly they saw a light bulb or a lamp. So they thought it was magic. It was an amazing new invention. Thomas Edison was an inventor. Inventor. He made new things. He made many of the things we use every day. So he made many of the things. Not just the light bulb. He also made well a record player. We don't use that nowadays. But of course, a record player、uh, evolved into what we use now for music. We record music. Thomas Edison was one of the first. There are many of his inventions that that brought us from. A long time ago, like old himdoro,、uh, difficult ways of doing things, to our modern world where things are very easy and, and we use machines. A long time ago, people didn't use machines that much, but Thomas Edison helped people start to use machines more and more. Okay, so he made many of the things we use every day. He is most famous for how he improved the light bulb. Okay, so that's interesting. It means he didn't really invent the light bulb. He wasn't the first person to make the light bulb. There was a light bulb before him, but the light bulb was not good. Right? It didn't work very well. Before Edison, light bulbs did not work very well. They gave off light for just a short time, so the light bulb would only last a short time, maybe、uh, one week, right, or maybe a few days, depending on how much you used it. So, of course, these light bulbs also cost a lot of money to make. So they cost a lot of money to make. They didn't last very long. You had to buy a new one. Like every week or every month, 
Oh, normal pisayo, right? It's very expensive to keep buying new light bulbs. So Thomas Edison looked at the light bulb, said, oh, it's a good idea, but it doesn't last very long. So how can I improve it? What did he do? Edison wanted to make a light bulb people could use at home. Before, the light bulbs were so expensive, people couldn't buy them. They couldn't use them at home, just in public places, like maybe parks or outside street lights or in uh, big buildings. But Edison wanted to make the light bulb cheap so people could use them at home. Light bulbs back then burned out too quickly. We saw that before, right? They burned out too quickly. You turned them on, they lasted a while, pfft, they're gone. You have to buy a new one. Very expensive. He needed something that burned much more slowly. So what Thomas Edison did, he thought about this problem. Light bulbs burn too quick. I need to think of something. I need to find something that burns slowly so it lasts a long time. What is that? What can I find that burns slowly? So he tried using many different things. So, you know, he would use different elements, different chemicals, right? And he would experiment with different things. When you try many things, you experiment. Experiment. And this is what scientists do. Experiment. Experiment. They experiment with many different things. They want to find out, I want to find the one thing that works, but I don't know what it is. So I'm going to try many different things, and I'm going to experiment. So he tried many different things. Finally, after many experiments, he found something that worked. Yeah, he found one thing. It worked after many experiments. It was carbon. He found that if he made the light bulb with carbon, carbon burned slowly. Edison's carbon light bulb gave off light for 40 hours. 40 hours! Wow! That's a long time! <laughs> of course, it's not a long time now, but back then, it was a really long time, right? You could use it, uh, you know, at least for a week before it burned out, right? If you're working eight hours a day, eight times five is 40. So you could use it for five days, eight hours a day. If it was at home, maybe you just used it three hours a day or two hours a day. Then it would last 20 days if, it only, if you only used it two hours a day, right? So it didn't burn out so quickly. Of course, this is a long time ago. Light bulbs have been much improved and they keep getting improved using different elements. Anyway, Edison's carbon light bulb gave off light for 40 hours. It was a long time back then. Doesn't seem like a long time now but it was a big invention back then. So everyone was very surprised. They were very surprised. Wow, that's amazing. He can make the light bulb last a lot, lot longer. Now people's homes were bright, even at night. What this means is that because the light bulb lasted a long time, people could afford to buy them because they didn't have to buy a new one all the time. Of course, they had to be careful about using the light bulb. Don't use it too often, but at least at night, if they wanted light, they just turned it on and the light bulb would last a long timer and it was cheaper. Edison was called a wizard because of his invention, because he experimented with many things and he found the answer. People called him a wizard, the wizard of Menlo Park. That's where his laboratory was. They said his light bulb was made with magic. Of course, it wasn't magic, it was carbon. Many of the things you use today, think about it, do you know how it works? Of course, we don't know. We may not know. How does our microwave work? Do you know? How does your television work? Do you know? We don't think about it. We might think, oh, it's magic. But we can find out if we study 
we can learn how it's made. But people back then, they didn't know that it was carbon that Edison used. They just saw, wow, it works, and it works for a long time. It seems like magic. It's not really magic. It was just carbon that they used. But it was an amazing invention. It surprised many people. So he was called a wizard, and many people were surprised. Okay, so what, that's an interesting story. Let's go over the comprehension questions for that story. Number one is usual. This story is about. What is this story about, right? Is this story about A, an inventor, B, a better candle, C, carbon, or D, magic? This whole story was about a person or a thing. Actually, you could almost say it was about a light bulb, but it was also about Thomas Edison. So we could have two choices here, but look at the choices. Is, are any of these choices about the light bulb? No. Are any of these choices about Thomas Edison? Yes. A is about Thomas Edison because Thomas Edison was an inventor. So this story is about an inventor. His name is Thomas Edison. Not a better candle, right? It wasn't a story about making a better candle. No, they were talking about the light bulb. It wasn't a story about carbon. Carbon was just a small part of the story. It was the thing that was used, that Thomas Edison used to make a better light bulb. But it wasn't all about carbon. Carbon was just a small part of the story. Was the story about magic? No, it wasn't about magic. It seemed like magic, but it wasn't magic. The whole story told the story about an inventor his name was Thomas Edison, and the story told us about how he made the light bulb better. Okay, number two. Edison found that beep burned much more slowly. Remember, Edison wanted to improve the light bulb. The light bulb burned too quickly, maybe just a few hours, and it was out. So he wanted to find uh, something that burned much more slowly. He wanted to find the element that burned much more slowly. Did he, did he find that magic burned slowly? No, magic doesn't burn. Magic is not real. Tungsten? Tungsten? Where did tungsten come from? Well, tungsten is another element, but it didn't make any mention of tungsten in the reading. This is the first time we hear about tungsten, so it's not that one. C. Carbon. Yes, carbon we talked about, and that was the element that Edison found that burned much more slowly. Carbon burned much more slowly. So it was carbon is the answer. What about candles? Edison found that candles burned much more slowly? No, that's not the answer. He's not looking at candles, he's looking at light bulbs. And inside the light bulb, the carbon burned much more slowly. So that's the answer. Okay, let's move on to number three. Before Edison, and we should probably have a comma here. So before Edison, before Edison's time, before Edison, light bulbs what? Lasted for 40 hours. B, always burned slowly. C, were bigger. D, gave off light for just a short time. Which one? A, lasted for 40 hours. That's not right because Edison f improved the light bulb so that it, it lasted 40 hours. So after Edison, after Edison, light bulbs lasted for 40 hours, not before, so that's not correct. Before Edison, light bulbs always burned slowly? No, th that's the problem, right? Before Edison, the light bulbs burned too quickly. Edison wanted to make the light bulbs burn more slowly. He wanted to make them burn slowly. So after Edison, light bulbs burned slowly, not before, right? So it's the same idea as A, right? Before Edison, light bulbs were bigger. Well, we don't really know because the reading didn't say anything about size. The reading didn't say, so we don't know about that. That's not the right answer. D, before Edison, light bulbs gave off light for just a short time. That's the answer, right? Because that's what Edison wanted to do. He wanted to improve the light bulb by making it last a long time. So before Edison, Edison Chanet, 
right? The light bulbs only lasted a small time. Edison, Hue, after Edison, right? They lasted for 40 hours, more than just a short time. So D is the right answer. Before Edison, light bulbs gave off light for just a short time. After Edison, light bulbs lasted a long time, 40 hours, okay? Number four, Edison's light bulb was what? A, was made with carbon, B, was made with magic, C, burned for 40 minutes, D, burned out very quickly. So what was true about Edison's light bulb? And this is similar to question three if you think after Edison, right? After Edison, the light bulb. His light bulb, what did it do? Was it made with carbon? Yes, that's the answer. It was made with carbon. That's the element he found. Was it made with magic? No, it wasn't magic. It was carbon. Did it burn for 40 minutes? Don't be tricked. They're trying to fool you. Not 40 minutes, 40 hours. I go, 40 minutes is too short a time. 40 hours. So that's wrong. Burned out very quickly. Edison's light bulb burned out very quickly. No, that was the problem before Edison. Edison's light bulb was made with carbon. It lasted a long time, 40 hours, and it wasn't made with magic, okay? So those are the answers to the questions for the reading comprehension. Okay, let's just review here. Thomas Edison's light bulbs, what did they do? Let's just see what we found from the reading, right? Well, before Edison, light bulbs did not work very well. So the idea is that Thomas Edison didn't really invent the light bulb, he took the light bulb and he improved it. So he helped make the light bulb useful for many people. They didn't work very well before him. Light bulbs back then burned out too quickly. They didn't work very well. How? Well, they burned out too quickly. They just lasted a few hours. Finally, Edison's carbon light bulbs gave off light for 40 hours. So they, the carbon light bulb made with carbon, they lasted for 40 hours, which was a long time back then. Nowadays, that's too short, right? We want our light bulbs to last a year, right? At least a year before we change them, maybe longer, depending on what kind of light bulb. But you see, light bulbs, inventions, our machines are constantly improving. Inventors and scientists are always trying to improve inventions. They are our heroes. They make our life much, much easier. And that's, of course, what we're talking about in this uh, series of lessons, heroes, people who we can respect. Okay, well, that wraps it up uh, for now. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.